Greetings from Canada. This is a short little video for my good friend Pete over in England, in jolly old England. So I took him up on this opening the grill challenge that he has going on his channel right now. And basically, this is the grill from AMT's 1955 Chevy. Now it could either be the Bel Air or the Nomad, it doesn't really matter because it's the same part. And I had a spare one in my parts bin. So what I did is I followed Pete's advice over on his channel there, and I scraped the back of this grill with my hobby knife and eventually sandpaper. Just kept scraping along here until you get this kind of membrane thing going on. Basically what you're doing is you're taking this plastic and you're thinning it down until it's pretty much paper thin. And then it's easy. You take your hobby knife and you see how the grill is like all little rectangles in there. You just take your hobby knife and you go one, two on the top, one, two on the other, on the bottom, I guess, and then just push down there and there in the corners, and it'll pop out that little tiny rectangle in between, and you're left with that open grill. See like how I got it there? So again, this really looks great. So my journey of discovery here, one thing that I found out with this is you have to scrape and sandpaper the back here a lot. You, you keep going like this until it's basically the same thickness as bare metal foil in that little area in those rectangles. Then that way when it's really thin like bare metal foil you can easily just push the knife down in between there and it'll get rid of the part. Now you'll notice that I broke the corner off here. The only reason why I actually did break that, and I still have it here actually, there's a the little corner piece. The only reason why this broke is because I did not sand this side down thin enough. So I had to use more force to push the little bars, you know, in between that little rectangle. Had to use more force to do that. And by using more force, the knife slipped and it cracked an edge. And with it cracking the edge, it also forced it out because the knife is a little bit like a wedge, if you know what I mean. So it forced it out a little bit and it snapped this section off. But I do know how to fix this. What I could do is I will continue to scrape this down a bit to make this thin here. And then I'm going to look in my collection of evergreen sheet styrene because I know I've got a piece there that is super, super thin almost again like that consistency of paper. And I can easily just glue a section of that or maybe even go right across. And that means I'd have to open up these little squares all over again. But if I glue a section there, then it'll be a new thickness in here and behind. It won't be thick on one end. And uh, I can cut through that membrane again because that plastic is so thin. I think it's a 1 64th of an inch thick, if I remember right. So basically I just push that through. I can clean it up with a toothbrush with a little bit of soap on it. But again, Pete is right. Look at the difference. You can see right through that grill into the pink. The only spot that I couldn't cut through was just the top rectangles up there. And the only reason is because AMT has this bar across the top. And that's where your hood sits down on top of this little grill. So I couldn't cut through there. So Pete, I know... Uh, painted grills, after you open them up, you know, after you open up your grills, painted ones will never look the same again. But in this case, I will have to paint that top rectangle because I can't cut through that bar. It's too thick. It's in the wrong spot. And uh, if I remove the bar, the hood will fall right through, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really compared this. But, I mean, I guess it's forgivable just to paint up in the one area there. Uh, looking at the real Chevys, though, when you look in the front grill, it does look black in there. So I think it's basically showing right through to um, the black rad support. But again, like you can see the sandpaper through there in that section. And over here you can't because I haven't cut through there. This is half the grill opened and half the grill closed with the exception of where I started in that one corner. So anyway, that is my journey with these grills. It is easy if you thin it down as much as you can get it. You can do these small little areas in between here. Just be careful. Take your time. Pop them through. It's a lot of fun, and I recommend it to anyone. I'll probably make a video showing it more in the future, but for now, 
this is what you get.